Hello ladies and gentlemen and good morning. This is HD StarCraft, proud to bring to you guys the first ever HD content StarCraft 2 beta match televised over YouTube. And I hope you guys are really excited to see this. I just got this working this morning and this is going to be the first match, Zerg versus Terran. Here we go. Um, and I'm actually going to keep the commentary a little bit on the, uh, on the light side, actually really on the light side, because I want you guys to really absorb the atmosphere, uh, the music, and all the units, and really get a feel for the game before I really dive in-depth into commentary for future games. Um, and this map, a little bit of background information, is going to be very similar to Paranoid Android. Um, keep in mind, I do have a little bit of BlizzCon 2009 experience. Um, so I do know a little bit about the maps, the strategy, the units, but a lot has changed since then. So, <laughs> and it's been a long time. So I'm probably going to be a complete noob status. But uh, we'll see how this goes. And um, pretty much, I'm going to let you guys just sit back, enjoy the high definition StarCraft 2 content, and if you guys like what you see, subscribe and get ready for a whole shebang of more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. We require more minerals. Yeah, wishing my opponent good luck um, when I'm actually going to be the one who really needs it. Uh, <laughs> really, with my lack of knowledge about the game, guys, um, I don't really want to say too much about the builds or strategies, but I do want to step back and point out the beauty of the game. Blizzard hit it on the nail. This game looks absolutely freaking stunningly amazing. And the music is awesome too, guys. I had a blast when I was playing this game. Um, and really, watching the replay right now helps me a lot to learn uh, the mistakes I did during the game. Oh, Terran base has been found. And, uh... I am actually going to grab my natural expo here, trying to go with a somewhat similar build to original Brood Wars. Of course, my uh, drone count is a bit off, should be uh, a 12 hatch. But that's alright. It's a new game, new strategies, new builds. Who cares about the old one now? I'm just kidding. I still love the original Brood Wars. Who can ever forget that? It's a classic. You can't ever leave the original Brood Wars. Wow, this game is so amazing. It is so beautiful. This is awesome to watch. I mean, if you guys have played Brood War, which I know you guys have, the difference in graphics is just mind-blowing. It is so beautiful. And I know you guys, you know, you guys can't feel it, but take it my word for it, when I was playing the game, it captured the essence of the original Brood War. It truly did. It felt like I was playing StarCraft, and that is the most important uh, aspect, really, to building a successful sequel to, you know, possibly the best, the best RTS game, the best game of all time. You really have to capture that essence, capture that feel of original StarCraft. And as you guys can see, uh, my opponent already sends in an SCV. That's reminiscent of original Brood Wars. So, uh, and of course, I'm going to try to dispatch it as quickly as I can. But uh, yeah, it, it's StarCraft, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it. This game is StarCraft at its core. If you guys um, are confused at all about the two lines coming out and the, all these lines coming out of my base, um, Zerg players actually have two rally points, one for workers going to the mineral patch, so when minerals for, so when workers come out they go straight to the mineral patch, the other rally point is for uh, Zerglings and other fighting units. Hatchery morphing into the layer, by the way. Oh, run away, Zerglings! 
Yeah, I try to test that ramp, but uh, the Terran player, of course, has it heavily fortified with uh, supply depots and bunkers. Which means my Zerglings are absolutely nothing against that. And uh, one major thing I found while I was playing this game this morning is that gas is not what it used to be. Gas comes in at half the rate now, so I found myself gas starved almost the entire game. Um, but uh, I started to quickly rectify that, as you guys will see. Uh, just started building tons of extractors, really. Getting my spire down right now. And trying to play pretty similar to what Brood War offered, not really trying any of the new units or anything like that. Um, just really wanted to show you guys the, the core of uh, StarCraft 2 before I really get into different units. And I do apologize um, about the lack of commentary, although I'm sure there's some of you who just want to hear the game. Um, as I said before, I'm going to try to keep this game, uh, my talking down to a minimum, so you guys can really enjoy, uh, you know, the feel of the game. I think that's important, at least. And also, one other thing, this game was a bit boring. Looking back into it, uh, it was kind of a macro fest. Um, I'll try to get my next games to be a little more exciting and interesting, but I figured you guys just want to see StarCraft 2, it doesn't really matter, right? At least for the first game. Spawn more overlords. The Spire and the Hydrogen now are both up. Um, I had those both hatch at the same time. So now I've got a lot of tech, of course, available. And, oh no, my Zerglings are getting burned to a crisp. Uh, those new units are the Terran uh, mixture of Firebat and Vulture. They absolutely dominate Zerglings, as the Firebat always did. We require more Vespin gas. Those, of course, are the destructible rocks between the two bases. Those have to be destroyed before you can traverse that terrain. Otherwise, you have to take the long route around the entire map. We require more Vespine gas. Man, this was such a blast to play, guys. I, you know, um, I just want to say one quick thing. Of course, my, my meter list is out, but I just want to say for those of you who weren't fortunate enough to get a beta key, I really feel for you guys, and I feel like everyone who's a fan of StarCraft should have had an opportunity to play in the beta. Um, I mean, I know there's a lot of beta keys out there that's going to WoW players and other players who don't really care. And I just feel like that's an injustice, but hopefully this is the next best thing I'm trying to provide for you guys. I hope this, you know, alleviates some of the pain and, uh, you know, really can get you guys involved in the game as well. So I hope this is helping in some way. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, of course, I'll be bringing out a video as often as I can, hopefully once a day, at the very least. Um, but as you guys know, I am busy with school in my last quarter, but uh, yeah, anyways, enough of that. Just watch the game, enjoy. <laughs> got to get there and defend my, my drones right away. I think I lost like half of them there. But uh, I countered pretty well with Zergling and Hydra. I think. Yeah, I was able to ward off this attack pretty decently. Uh, of course, that is the new medic, by the way, guys. It's a dropship now. Dropship with the medic abilities to heal. We require more Vespine gas. And I know I'm playing like a complete noob right now. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the hotkeys were really, really different. To build an overlord, it was like V or something instead of O. So a lot of times I was like, why isn't an overlord building out of the hatchery, out of the larva? What the heck is going on? But I'll have to look into that to see if I can modify the hotkeys. I'm sure it's possible. So yeah, I do have to apologize for being a complete, pretty much utter noob this entire game. But uh, hopefully I improve in the next couple of games, so you guys don't get bored to death. Spawn more overlords. 